Hey y'all, Lee with LA 3D Printer Repair here. Um, so I've been getting a question lately. Um, you know, you're printing along, you know, everything's working fine, and then, you know, somehow, you know, it doesn't matter how, uh, during an unload, you know, your filament kind of gets stuck in the extruder and uh, you can't get it out. Um, you know, this is something that happens. Uh, doesn't really matter how it happens. Um, could be an accident, could be filament broke, could be a tangle in the spool. That's immaterial. You know, you're stuck and, you know, you're trying to trying to operate. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and recreate that scenario here. I've got some kind of bright red filament here loaded. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch sides here, but I wanted to make sure, like, you know, you understand we're going to loosen this screw and um, this needs to be uh, about, you know, when no filament's loaded, it needs to be like one turn past level with the surface. You don't want to be cranking down on that thing. Um, you can destroy the spring if you really crank it down. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unload that spring there so we can open up the door. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring you over to the other side. And then, okay, uh, let me go ahead and bring you over here. At this point, with the idler unloaded, you know, let me just back up here a little bit. You know, I can go ahead and just push filament down, and it's going to come out the extruder. Um, you know, the analogy I make with this is it should feel like, you know, pushing a spoon into a jar of cold peanut butter. You should feel restriction, you know, no doubt, but, you know, it should be flowing. You know, you should be able to move that filament downward. Now, if it's clogged, yeah, you may need to do a cold pull. But let's just go ahead and cause some, cause some, uh... Alright, look at that. Alright, that sucks. Now that's going to be a problem right there. So to get that out, you know, or I, I, I hope you can kind of see what I'm dealing with here. We've got a little chunk of filament that's just right up on top of there. Now our options for getting that out are kind of obvious. You know, there's two ways out of that hallway. We can either go, you know, up and out, or we can go down and out. Um, up and out is going to require we have clearance to be able to kind of grip on that thing with a with a pair of you know needle nose pliers or something. Um, again, my clearance is limited, but um, let me see what I can do here with a pair of needle nose. Probably not going to have room to grab that. Yeah, and see, it's just kind of going down. You're going to need to be preheated. If you've got enough room, you can try and grab it and pull it out, and then you can just try to you know sneak it out. In fact, if you can even kind of get it up a quarter inch where it fits in the gears, you could close the door and then just try and you know perform an unload and see if it hopefully feeds straight out. Um, that's an option. So now that that guy's kind of sunk below the the tube there, you know our secondary options are we can use a probe to go down. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick these on the bed here so I can show you guys. So we make probes out of uh, piano wire and um, those work well for us. Included in the kit is a 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench which will work fine. So you know we're going to go ahead and use that guy and I'm going to show you what you need to do. You do need to have your uh, filament auto load turned off. Be focused in here. Let's go ahead and get in there. And so now I do have auto load turned off. And so now I'm going to go ahead and get up in here, and I'm going to get squared behind the filament. I'm literally just going to push it down just enough, right? And so now, now that, now that we've got enough clearance there, I can go ahead and take my new filament, straighten it out a bit so that I can get it fed into the top of the hole. Now I can just go ahead and close the door. I can even just hold it manually, and I'm just going to go ahead and load filament. And that's going to go ahead and purge that old stuff out of there. And we're loaded. That's really it. So that's kind of your easiest way. Assuming you've got the tools to be able to do it, um, that'll kind of get you going. Um, obviously, the other option is just kind of pull it out the top. Um, so now you're just going to go ahead and resecure your idler screw, which from this side, my rule of thumb is three to four threads exposed, and no more than that is really necessary, assuming that your nut 
is properly seated. Um, if it's really up near the surface, then it's going to be less threads. But that's plenty. That's plenty of juice right there from the machine. So at this point, you know, I'm going to go ahead and preheat cool down. But you know, hopefully that's helpful. You know, here's our here's our info if you need us. Um, hopefully you didn't find us because you're stuck, and uh, hopefully you just keep this in your toolkit in case you need us. But um, we're here if you get stuck. Give us a call. Happy to help. Cheers.